Let's get started by talking about your Octagon debut back in 2011. Did you feel Octagon jitters in that fight? No, I just didn't have a real good game plan for that fight. After that, you uh, hit the independence again. Got a big win at Fight Festival 31. Just talk us through that fight. Oh, the Fight Fest fight? Uh, Stand-up was working good. Uh, he came in a couple times. I, I dumped him down and fought on the ground a little bit and stood back up. And Then at the end of the first, uh, we kind of got in a little scramble situation, and I rolled out and uh, to a spinning back fist and KO'd him. How did you learn about getting another shot in the UFC? Uh, well, my uh, manager called me and like said he had, he had been talking to Joe Silva a lot, and uh, then uh, he called and said, uh, pitches out, so he's going to try to get me a fight with Simpson, and, and it just kind of worked out, so it's kind of a good deal. You're stepping in against a UFC veteran. Just talk about your opinion on Aaron Simpson's MMA game. Oh, well, it's a good game. Uh, you know, he throws that right hand a lot. He's got good good wrestling, and uh, even though it's his first fight at 170, you know, I don't really think that, I think he's professional enough that it's not going to, you know, it's not going to hurt him too much. Yeah, and actually, that was my next question for you, man. Uh, we talked to Aaron a few months back, and he was uh, dabbling and talking about dropping down to 170 pounds, so you don't think he'll have any trouble with that weight cut? Uh, not really. I mean, I think he'll probably get tired a little bit easier, uh, you know, if we make it to the third round. But, uh, you know, he's he's kind of a seasoned bad wrestler, you know. Like, So you have to have respect for the, the wrestlers that are, you know, still fighting that this late in the game, you know. So I think he'll be fine. It's, it's just not something I'm, you know, counting on in the fight, you know. What are your keys to victory for this fight? Where does it have to stay? Um, how does it have to go? Oh, I just have to put him in situations where he's not comfortable, you know. Uh, you know, he's kind of a forward, you know, he likes to be the one coming forward. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to have my hands up. That's like a real big one. And I'm going to be coming forward, and, you know, if he tries to come in real hard, I'm going to put him on his back. And, uh, you know, just put him in positions where he's not comfortable. Okay, who will be in your corner for this fight? Uh, Bob Long, who's uh, also my manager. Uh, Jimmy Sam, who he... He fights also, and then uh, Jeremy Pasley, he's, he's a, kind of a striking coach for me. Um, Jimmy has a fight coming up in uh, in about a month. From Actually, it's a month from my fight, so he, he's getting in shape, and it's a good partner for me to go with. He could, you know, he's a collegiate wrestler also. So. Since uh, you're taking this fight on short notice, is winning this fight your only option to stay in the UFC? Uh, that's what, that's how it feels to me, you know. Especially at the last time, you know. Uh, that's that's kind of how I see, uh, you know, I see it. So uh, I'm just going to go in there. That you know, it's it's something that can change my life, you know, dramatically. So I plan on going in there, not just winning, but kind of making a statement, you know. Yeah, for sure, Ken. And you're certainly not getting the easy matchups, are you? Oh no. Well, that's fine. That's I mean, I don't care who I fight. I know I'll fight anybody. I just, I just want to be able to fight, you know? Yeah, we appreciate the time, man. Uh, give me a prediction for this fight. How will it finish? Oh, let's just go TKO in a second. Oh, yeah, man. Anything you like to promote, such as your sponsors, or throw at your Twitter or Facebook? Uh, 170 Petting. That's my put, uh, Twitter account. So. Thanks for this, and uh, best of luck. All right, man. Take care. Okay, see ya.